So today our topic of discussion is the fact that I'm all yours. As the son says, I'm all yours, everything I've got, right? Just God, I'm giving it all to you. And that's what we must do as Christians. A lot of us kind of, God, I'm going to you part of me. I'm going to give you my, my, my body on some days. Depending on how good she looks. <laughs> Depending on how good he looks, how good he smells. I'm going to give you my finances, except, no, well, no, I want to go and buy this. Whatever it is you want to buy. Uh, whatever our mindset is, we want to give God part of ourselves. So we have to say, God, I'm all yours, all right? And for our set it off, I want, since it's like June in our birthday month, I'm going to ask a, a young lady, kind of young, and I have a good candidate uh, in mind, uh, who can come and sing the birthday song to all of our June birthdays. Uh, is, is it Tashara? Is it, uh, what's your name? Pink, the, pink, the maroon pink shirt. Ramona. Ramona, yeah. Come here and give Ramona a hand. She come up here. She gonna sing happy birthday to everybody. You look great, Ramona. Just come out of the dance. Come on, we got to sing happy birthday to everybody, Ramona. The, the June birthday is appreciate you for doing this. So I, so I use June birthday. Everybody, y'all help her out, okay? So Ramona, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Okay. Here we go. You ready? All these people right here. As Christians, we have a task, right? To be like who? But she said, I don't even know all the words. How many Christians don't know how to be like Jesus? Come on. Come on. Hmm. He said, I want to be like God. I want to join the church. I want to be just like God. And we walk around this earth, on this world. I don't know. What do I do? She didn't even feel prepared to sing. I don't even look right. I don't, I don't have a right church suit. I ain't going to Sioux City last week. I didn't, so I don't even look like a Christian. Yes, I might. I don't even, and I would, I don't, I'm, I'm ashamed. I can't do it. I ain't going to tell. I can't sing. Happy birthday. I can't proclaim it is great you made another year because I don't even look the part. So she didn't know the words. And then when she got out here, y'all started helping out because we had all these saints, great saints. Go on, happy birthday to you. Here's a melody. All right. Then she kind of looked around like, is that? Is that Beyonce? And get information? You know, like we, we were trying to do right, but then the world throws in these distractions. These very same things that Chris saw. I, somebody about to pray for me. I want to pray for you right now. She said, I got to get this, this kid off the floor. Hmm. Pray for me later. Pray for me when I really need it. Pray for me when I'm on my deathbed. <laughs> pray for me when I'm broke. I need somebody to help me out. He said, I want to pray for you right now. So God is here with us at all times. We get caught up. Wow, I want to look just like that. The world tells you, ladies, you got to look just like this. <laughs> See, this is the example. Beyonce, we got to look just like her. 
The world shows us what we need to look like. We want to look like this. The world says what we have to drive, how we got to live, what we got to eat, what we got to look. I mean, it, and we want to do it. We don't get caught up into doing what God says. We don't remember the word. Happy birthday. No matter what's going on, no matter what beat comes on, or what kind of drama comes about, I'm just going to follow Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. This is what we don't do, but as Christians, this is what we got to get to do. We got to say, God, I'm all yours, everything I have. Instead of being in the world's formation, I want to be in your formation. Just so that we can't look through the building, right? They got these forms up. So the form is a mold that tells you where the concrete's going to go. Jesus Christ has given us a mold on how our lives should look, how we should act. And anything that's not like that has to go outside the mall, right? And, and, and as we pour the concrete on here in Tuesday, y'all not be the Tuesday one to come watch them pour all the concrete. And, and once they get to the level, the level of the formation, the level of, the level of this foundation, they're going to level everything else off. All the excess is going to be gone to the side. Only what is like Jesus Christ is going to last. Only what we need is going to last. We need four inch slab. <laughs> we don't need four inches and another quarter inch. We don't need a lot of uh, extra arrogance or no more dirt. We got all the dirt we need. It's all 22 loads. We got that. Right now, we are at the point. We just need four inches of concrete. And everything else extra is going to be wiped away and going to be pushed on out of here. So as Christians, we got to get in our formation. They put a lot of work in the firm and took all day to frame it, to frame it right. We got to frame our lives right to line with the word of God. I mean, just like to the T. God said, don't add another thing or take a thing out of my word. Just to the T. So once our frame is set, then we got to pour in and make sure our foundation is where it needs to be. That's what the word of God says. That's what we're going to go walk through quickly here. Uh, James chapter 4, verses 7 through 10. Easy to read. Let's come from today. The easy to read version. It reads this. Translation like from King James and I'll be but the easy to read right here. So give yourselves to God. Sounds simple, right? But we got to figure out what that means. So stand against the devil. He will run away from you. Come near to God. He will come near to you. That's lovely. Just think about that. You just come near to God. He'll come near to you. We had a conversation with fellas. You know, we want to spend some time with our wives. They just want to be all up in there. All this Babe, I'm right next to you. They just, God doesn't do that. <laughs> God says, school it close to the baby. Okay. He comes closer to you. Come near, all right? You are sinners. This is, this is talking to the church. Y'all know we're sinners, right? Just, I, don't, I don't see any too many people that I'm holier than that. But we do know we're sinners. We have to know our standing, <laughs> okay? We just saved by grace. So we're sinners, so clean sin out of your lives. All the excess, just wipe it on out. What you don't need, get out of your lives. You are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Mm. Make your thinking pure. Be sad, be sorry, and cry. Change your laughs and cry. Because a lot of us walk around here thinking everything hunky dory. I see it all the time. I had a conversation with Chris one on Facebook. Or anyway, you can talk to someone about something serious, about something eternal, about change, about also their life. It's like you hear Chris say, Man, I don't like that. <laughs> Let me post something over there that's totally ridiculous that has nothing of value at all. <laughs> Let me share this with all my friends. Did you see this video you posted? Did you see it? Really? Is that what life has come down to? Is that what it's all about? If God says, be sad, be sorry, and cry, change your life and cry. So change your joy to sadness. Be humble before the Lord, and He will make you great. That's the good news. So just be humble. Just put yourself. I'm just. Hey, and humble means with God. I don't know. My pride is this. I'm going to just trust you. You say put the phone this way, I'm going to put the phone that way. You say that's all I need, that's all I need. So first thing here, priest of our priest, we got to be strong. This guy looks strong. He looks like, I'm not following for a devil. Because that's what it is. We got to just say, Satan, I'm not going to allow you to hurt me. Okay? We got to be devoted to God because, as I think about it, we're devoted to everything else. Ain't nobody devoted to something that they really like. Why am I devoted to that? Why? I when I used to work out, I used to wake up before thirty, <laughs> so I can get up and go to Planet Fitness, and I was devoted. And then I said, "Why am I doing this?" Because <laughs> when I get older, I won't look like I used to look, brother. I won't look like I used. To. I won't be able to go a Ninja Warrior <laughs> when I'm sixty-five. Yeah, I won't be able to do a lot of things. That we devote ourselves to a lot of uh, football teams. Myself, I'm a huge Saints fan. You know, we devote ourselves to our sons playing basketball. We devote ourselves to our girls, our daughters, all kind of stuff. 
We devote ourselves, we don't, we choose not to devote ourselves to God. We give everything else to the world and then we give God, oh, you can have my leftovers. Hmm. At the end of the night, I don't, I don't work 18 hours between getting boys ready for school and, and working and doing something right now. At the end of the night, oh, hey, God, I need to talk to you for a second. Okay, I know I'm about to fall asleep, but just forgive me if I fall asleep while I'm praying to you. Anybody fall asleep when praying? Yes. You waking like, God, you bet. God, I'm sorry, where was I? <laughs> You know my heart in Jesus' name, amen. We've given our entire day to everything else, and we give God a little leftovers. What do you do then? <laughs> right? But the scripture says we just gotta resist Satan and just watch. Okay? It says stand against the devil and he will run. So you just sit, you know, everybody have a test of child. For instance, this morning, you talk about the credit card. Just you just say, God, I'm just gonna let you have the way. You just resist Satan. I ain't got no time for that. You just watch them run on. You just go, well, I gotta go to somebody else. Because Satan is very smart, y'all. Okay? Satan, we say all the time, and some of my dad pulled out that, 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 you know, the devil is busy. We say that, right? And the reason why the devil is busy because he's not like God. God is omnipresent, correct? Which means that he is everywhere at all times. Satan is only one person. He has a lot of help, right? Because a third of the angels got kicked out and now demons, right? But Satan realized, like, man, I couldn't get away that tree. I'm going to go somewhere else. Let me go just think about what can I get away next time? So once you resist Satan, he's going to run from you because he realized, I'm wasting my time, man. She didn't do it with the credit card. Let me go run off. I'll be back next week. I'm thinking something while I'm going. I'm going to think of something. I'm going to get them grizzlies next time. Yeah, that's what we do. We have game. You got to go back and game plan. So once we resist, you figure out I'm wasting my time. As we keep it personal, do I make things easy for the enemy? This is the scripture says we got to resist. I mean, like, I'm going to do everything I can. This is like, man, I'm not about to eat that cake. My viral noise is in two weeks. I ain't got time to be right here, you know, crossing my arm because I'm kind of insecure about my stomach. You know, my chest ain't right here. Hey, how you doing? I ain't got time for that. So I got to resist that. I'm not about to eat that cake. Just, I'm cake. I'm not about to eat you. Cinnamon roll, I can't have you. Lemonade, I can't have you. I just need straight water. You know, go to the gym. I can't have you. So if I just say, ooh, that look good, let me have a piece. Ooh, she look good. Let me just look at her. Ooh. Ooh, be so it's fine. Let me just say, ooh, let me just not mind. Just go to, ooh, this is credit card, easy money. Do we just give in? We just like the devil's <laughs> It's you again? <laughs> this won't take any time to defeat you. <laughs> the same old trick, we press the same old blood, victory. So, do we make it easy for Satan? Because here's the thing that we cannot serve too. We gotta stop looking like this. Straddling the fence. You know, I like to call it waffling. This is another term I was a with waffle. You know, some of you might think about this the waffle you eat, but the waffle means you one way one day, and you go another day, you eat a different way. You know, I want to wear red today. No, I want to wear pink. No, I want to wear purple. No, I, wanna, I don't know. What am I going to do? You waffle. Today, on Sunday, I love the Lord. We're going to tell somebody it was great. And then on Wednesday, ooh, turn up. <laughs> That's you. That's you. you. Whatever, whatever you, you, you're doing. Uh, uh, on Friday, it's, it's super turn up. On Saturday, it's like, wow. Then you get you get out like, man, I God, let me see another day. I might run back to church because I do need the Lord. Because I, I could have got shot last night up in, up in, in Freeland. I could have got shot somewhere, you know. I didn't have to make it home, drive it home drunk and on them pills and stuff. So I guess I should go and say, God, I thank you. I guess. If I can wake up in time. Because say no, that, that extra drink gonna keep me in, in, in bedside Baptist. And I don't want to go to church any kind of way, so I just say that. Here it is, though. as we come near to God, He's gonna come near to us. He rewards our effort. Alright? Psalms 37 4, our first scripture, you delight in the presence of God, what are they gonna do for you? Mm. He's gonna bless you with the desires of your heart. But we gotta remember that we have to delight. As you come near to Him, delight. How do I delight? I'm spending time on our word. I'm actually serving, ministering. People call me, hey, Mr. Bo, well, I don't really care for titles, but to minister means to serve. 
If I gotta serve you the world, I gotta serve you some food, I gotta serve you, I gotta help, I gotta clean up, whatever, then that's it. And I'm doing something to advance the kingdom. We gotta advance the kingdom of God. It's not just about coming here in the world, like, oh, that's great. It's about what am I actually doing as a member, as the body of Christ. And as we come near to God, we delight in his presence, then things will happen. Okay? So, we got to clean up, right? Because uh, it says, you are sinners, so clean sin out of your lives. So, so what we like to do when we have coming up, we like to straighten up. Anybody been in my house? No, we like to straighten up. As long as the living room looks decent, as long as the, the den is decent, you can sit at the table, it might be a sock underneath the couch, the, the sunroom could look whatever, you know, but the bathroom, can you at least go use it? Hopefully, we got little boys, and I guess we have room. Can you use it? Is it, is it straight up? Is it bearable? This is what we like to do as Christians, all right? As long as my house is straight up, I'm good. But God says what? Well, he says, clean sin out of your lives. Take that Mr. Clean, take that Fabuloso, take that bleach, whatever it is you use to clean your house. Some of our houses are cleaning our souls. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We put a lot of effort. I can't go to bed as the dishes done, but you go to bed every night with your your spiritual house in a mess. Look out, man. You don't forgive people. You don't care about people. You don't love people. You don't give your time. You don't give your effort. Yeah, as long as my house clean, hmm. the president can come to my house and I won't have to do a thing. Have a seat, Mr. Ronald. But we don't care, but we got to clean up sin out of our lives. Because you are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. He's just crazy. You know what's straddling. Because another famous scripture, you know, a lot of us are lukewarm, which is not good, right? My dad said all the time, God doesn't say, you are not hot, you are not cold. In fact, you're disgusting. Some of this spit you out of my mouth. I can't have you lukewarm. Chris, when we go out to a restaurant, the food is not 185 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> she is upset <laughs> and she is not having it and it is going back and she's happy for free <laughs> and, and it is great because I love it right but either way if it's not how it needs to be we gotta you gotta fix it so as Christians we gotta say no more struggle we gotta get serious right it is it. so make your thinking pure alright we cannot follow the world and follow God at the same time it doesn't get any simpler than that you say you gotta say God I'm committed I'm all yours but as we keep it personal here am I straddling the faith some of us might say, well, in some areas, yes, yeah, some areas, no. But where we are, that's where we got to stop. This is say, I'm all yours. And not to say, I'm 95% yours, God. Not to say, because uh, we're going to develop mature Christians. As you mature, you can keep getting mature. You keep developing. Developing, it means to continue to develop. Not to say we've reached a point where we got it, or we feel really good about our Christian walk, but if we continue to develop. If I'm at 93%, I need to work on the extra seven. How am I straddling the fence? What area of my life am I straddling the fence? And that's the thing I gotta like, clean up and get rid of, right? Because here it is, this is what we gotta have this broken spirit. A broken spirit and a contrite heart, those are the two things that God does not despise. Those are the two offers He does not despise. Psalms 51. We can give Him a song praise, we give Him all kinds of stuff. We can't sing that well. We can't use our money, our offer. That ain't, I mean, God, this is, what do you think about the money? It's not only count on thousand here. But God just said, if I can get you to break your spirit, I can get you to be sad about some stuff, <laughs> the way you may, I can get you to be sorry, to be truly sorry and repentant. Not just say, God, I repent, but say, Lord, I am sorry, I repent, I did it, I confess, forgive me, please, and I don't want to do it anymore. Amen. And that's where the country heart comes in, right? So we gotta change our laughter and the crying, like, God, how could I do that to you? God, how could I act the way you bless me with a roof on my head? God, how could I do that when I could have run into that car? Oh, brother. I'm out. God, how could I look like that and act like that when they did not have to wake me up when they said, okay, wake him up from surgery? All right, Devin. Uh, so Devin, come, come on. Uh oh, we didn't put too much anesthesia in. I mean, I thought we might have lost them. How can we act the way we do when we wake up every day? Who woke you up? And we, we, we just, oh, I got another day. Oh, another opportunity to get into some mess. <laughs> what can I do? Come on. 
Nah, thank you, God. Another opportunity to glorify you. How can I use my talent? How can I use my time? How can I use my effort to show the world how great you are? How can I truly be a light? How can I show someone love, compassion, show someone, you know, the fact that just there is a God working through me? This is what we got to do. So we got to change our laughter to, to crying and our joy to sadness because truth of the matter is when we sin against God, that's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. But the good news is we're ready to close out. And we just be humble before the Lord. And we just be humble. And it's just us to say, God, I really am all yours. God, I don't have it figured out. God, I know you are the only way I can make it. Because if it weren't for you, I don't even have a chance to go to heaven forever. But God just say, you know, my efforts, my efforts, is only get Terry Sir, it says, trust me. This is what God wants us to do. He just wants us to trust him. God, it's been five months since we talked about getting this building started. We had to go through surveys and confrontations and threat lawsuits and all kind of battles and permits block. But God says, just trust me. And in the midst of all that turmoil, just, just humble yourself. Know that it's not going to get done when you want it to get done, like how some believers. <laughs> It ain't really done so you can say, oh, we did it. We went right through it. We don't need God. No, it, when we were going through all this wait and wait and wait, our ego went from me. <laughs> <laughs> and our trust in God went from <laughs> God, in your time, only in your time, we, we aren't anybody. We can't make anything happen. We just got to wait like the rest of the world. <laughs> All right, any day now, God. I don't know when, but I trust it. It's going to happen. And when it does happen, when you first get that phone call, everything's going well, Mr. Loom. You first come onto the site, like, oh my God, it actually started. And when you first start to see all of these new people wondering, oh my God, you are making yourself great through our works. Because everything you do, God sets you up to glorify Him. We want to make sure we don't get this twisted. That new job, it ain't about me. <laughs> it ain't about you. God could have let anybody get that job. <laughs> All right? I keep mentioning Harambe. Harambe got shot, right? Y'all know the big gorilla that got shot. Did the zoo close down? No. What happened? The camera ran. <laughs> they kept selling tickets. They kept selling the popcorn. They kept selling the ices. They kept rolling. They kept rolling. We have to understand we're only here for a little while. So while we're here, we got to just humble ourselves, give all our efforts and all our strength and energy to glorify God. And while we're here, hopefully, we can be great. It's not about us being great. It's about God using us to show how great He is. Because don't ever think it's about you. Because once you do that, that's when you have missed the mark. Okay? So, our conclusion of that, we're like, you don't remember anything else. Just, just remember, it's about time for us to get serious about seeking God more than ever. All the sin, all the stuff we kind of get entangled with, distractions, you try to say happy birthday, and you go, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just, what? If we just seek God, we just get serious about Him, let Him be our number one focus, our only priority. Priority only means one. Pride means one. He's our priority. He said, I'll add everything else to you. Seek me more. I did job you need. Okay. I can press the buttons to make sure you get that job. Y'all need someone to worship God? Okay. Just seek me. <laughs> Don't seek the loan. Don't seek other stuff. Just seek me. And show me you got the faith that you you, you step in that forward, for, step foot forward. I'm gonna step forward too. All I gotta do is speak. God didn't have to come down here and say, you, you know, he just said, uh, Miss Joy. Uh Joy Hainsworth. He said, Joy Hainsworth. <laughs> Give them the building. That's all he said. Here we are. That's the way God works. So once we just seek Him, everything else, oh. everything else is going to fall into place. So my question is, are y'all ready to be the light? Yes. Are y'all ready to seek the light, the light, the Lord, the Lord? Are y'all ready just to seek Him more than ever? Yeah, let's give God. It's all about God. Let's give Him uh, a hand here because He's the one. 
he is the one. He is the one. And I can just trust in my, you know, say my spiritual imagination, the terminology I picked up, is that I can just see everyone here just humbling themselves and the greatness. I did the level of greatness. I can just see it rising. I can see it. I can see it. You know, we talk all the time, Sister Phyllis. We can want for people to just show up and, and God to show out, but unless you want it, I can't, I can't do anything for you. I can tell you, well, they're hiring right there, and I can put in a word for you, but unless you actually show up in the tie and the, and the smelling right and the, the resume and doing that, I I can't just force feed it for you. We can just say God is good. We can show you God is good. We can say we're going to do this for you. We're going to provide this for you. And you just have to have it in your mind and your heart to say, God, you are good. I'm just going to be repentant. I'm going to come and see you. So but you got to just say to yourself, you know what? I am going to humble myself. I am going to seek you more. I'm going to be great because you're going to make me great. Because God, if he said it, he's going to do it. If he says, if he says, seek me, just go closer to me, he's going to go closer to you. All right. So our confession of faith is the children walk in here. We can all join together. Uh, we know that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Uh, so you guys do not mind joining us. We can say here that God's word is making me wiser. God's word is making me stronger. And God's word is making me better. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um,